The latest out of the Middle East is a sober reminder of the challenges facing the new Biden administration. Thursday, there was a terrorist attack in Baghdad in a very central shopping area. 28 people so far have been announced as dead. There have been dozens more, at least 73 people who have been wounded. Now, these it was a series of twin explosions being reported by the Associated Press. And this is coming amid the political tensions over Iraq's severe economic crises and planned early elections. Now, the argument here or the analysis so far is saying that this has been a ISIS sleeper cell. Now, you'll recall that one of the key priorities for the Trump administration was to destroy ISIS, and largely he did. It was eradicated that ISIS was decimated, the leaders of ISIS were taken out, and now we see the Biden administration is going to have to deal with this new challenge, this sleeper, sleeper cell, this ISIS sleeper cell. So the question is whether the Biden administration will allow the military leaders on the ground to achieve uh, continued eradication of ISIS. We know from the Obama administration that many of the military leaders said that they were hamstrung, that they were not allowed to do what they needed to prevent the rise of ISIS. Uh, former President Obama even called ISIS the, quote, JV squad. We'll see if the Obama administration takes this approach as well here in Iraq. That does it for us here at Just the News.